the strike in Syria. The U.S. says it will keep pressure on Syria after last night's airstrikes. The Trump administration saying it will follow up with more economic sanctions and military action if necessary. Tonight we're learning more about the mission. 59 cruise missiles turned Russian-made Syrian jets into scrap metal. Take a look. A satellite photo shows the missiles also destroyed ammo dumps, storage sites, and radar stations. President Trump authorized the strike at 4.30 yesterday from Mar-a-Lago. The missiles launched at 7.36. News 6's Troy Campbell is live from Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach tonight. So, Troy, President Trump isn't talking to reporters about the strike today? Well, Matt, President Trump didn't speak to any reporters on camera today here at Mar-a-Lago while hosting the president of China. And while he stayed here at his resort, resort watching the results of the airstrike, several of our elected officials, they're continuing to react in Washington. It's gotten much more complicated over the last three to four years. Um, with the events of April 4th were unforeseen. They happened and they had to be addressed. Florida Senator Marco Rubio answering questions this afternoon moments after being briefed behind closed doors with the Senate Intelligence Committee detailing Thursday night's airstrike against Syria. I did not hear anything that I didn't already know. I, the airfield in Sharat, which is where Assad conduct, it's where, where he launched his chemical attack, was severely degraded. And I think certainly in the short to midterm degrades his ability to conduct future attacks. These images showing the aftermath of the missile attack at the same Air Force base believed to have been where chemical weapons were launched from earlier this week. Trump administration officials making it clear further action will be taken if the Assad regime and its allies continue to use chemical weapons. The president posing for pictures this afternoon at Mar-a-Lago alongside the president of China, who's a strong ally with Russia and North Korea. The White House saying the two leaders aren't discussing major topics during the visit and instead are just getting acquainted with each other. National security officials now looking into whether Russia played a role in Tuesday's chemical attack. Democrats also supporting the president's decision. In fact, Florida Senator Bill Nelson is calling for further action. And I think we ought to hit the rest of his airfields as well uh, as take out uh, all of his airplanes. I agree that the president has the authority. And President Trump is expected to spend the weekend here in Mar-a-Lago. Also with him is Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. Now, Tillerson, he is scheduled to travel to Russia next week. And, of course, Russia today saying it condemns that airstrike. Matt? All right, Troy Campbell live for us. Thank you. He'll continue to update us from Palm Beach through the weekend. He'll be live tomorrow night during the News 6 at 7 after CBS Master Coverage.